Hey, this is Ron. Welcome back to the Radiologic Technologist channel. I got a, I got a message today through Reddit. Someone asking me a couple of questions, so I thought I'd post them here because it's a common question. Hopefully, it'll help some other people. They said, thanks so much for all your posts and YouTube videos. I had a question for you. In your opinion, is being a rad tech better than an RN? Also, as a rad tech with a BSRS, which advanced modality do you have the most interaction with patients? So first of all, rad tech compared to nursing is, is really quite different. Um, I, knowing what I know now after 20 years in healthcare, I would probably consider nursing um, for one major reason, and that's because uh, nursing has the ability to go all the way up to nurse practitioner. And now there's even doctorate programs uh, for nurse practitioners, so they can be called doctor of nurse practitioning. But the big difference is that uh, nurses, um, in some cases, and, and you know, nursing variability is just as big as technologist variability, and by that I mean nurses can be with the same patient all, all day. If they're doing a 12-hour shift, they can have the same patient that entire 12-hour shift. So uh, ICU nurses, for example, um, are usually two to one or three to one. That means they, they get two or three patients, depending on acuity, and they're with that patient or those patients the entire shift. And sometimes, uh, oftentimes, if they're working three 12s in a row, they could have those same patients for all three days. Uh, now, ED patients, a little bit different, more change up. Uh, ED patients tend to turn around quicker. Floor patients, um, nurses tend to have a lot more patient ratio, higher patient ratio, like eight to one or 10 to one. Depends on, on how uh, rough the administration of that hospital is being on the nursing staff, uh, personally, is my opinion. So those are two of the big differences is uh, nurses are with the patient for a long period of time and can go further up the career ladder, let's say, to earning more income. A uh, nurse practitioner you know, can easily make 150 or higher, depending on where you're at. Every state, every city is different. Uh, a technologist is gonna see a patient for a very short duration. Uh, X-ray you know, can be as little as two to three minutes if you're in a fast orthopedic office, or up to you know, an hour or two, depending on the type of fluoroscopy study you're doing. Uh, but x-ray doesn't spend as much time with each patient. It's more of a, it's more of a kind of a turn and burn. I, I hate to use that phrase, but you know, we, we get them in and out quickly. And uh, technologists do have a nice career ladder, but it does not go up to the 150s. Uh, the highest I would imagine would be uh, maybe an RRA, which is a registered radiologic assistant, which is the closest thing to uh, a PA or an NP that works for a radiology group that you can get. Um, but I don't think they're making six figures. I guess it depends. I mean, if you're in California where the cost of living is through the roof, they're making six figures, but they're also paying that six figures out for their expenses. So, uh, you know, which is better, being a rad tech or a nurse? It's gonna depend on how much time do you wanna spend with that patient? Um, what do you like doing? See, I think, I think of nurses as giving care and delivering, kind of delivering what the doctor orders on the patient. And by that, I mean uh, administering the medications, uh, helping them uh, you know, to the bathroom if they don't have CNAs or whatever, um, making sure they're eating, checking their ins and outs, uh, their INOs. Um, you know, monitoring that patient where a tech is there to solve a problem. I was drawn to radiologic technology for the problem solving. I like to solve problems and, and basically techs get the patient who is ill uh, and the doctor takes a stab at what to order. And of course, we check that to make sure it makes sense. And then we perform that exam and, and it's us who finds the problem or, you know, the radiologist who reads it. Uh, reads the study that we do, finds the problem and dictates that. So that's the differences to me between nurses and techs. As for the second question, rad tech with a bachelor's uh, of science in radiologic science or BSRS, uh, which advanced modality do you have the most interaction with patients? So if by most interaction, you mean the length of time per exam, uh, I would say, you know, x-ray techs typically for general x-ray studies, and we're not talking about fluoroscopy or in the OR or IR, uh, it's generally five to 10 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Um, 
CT is going to be about the same, five to 10 minutes, maybe with contrast, 15 minutes. I'm not talking about procedures on the table. And then MRI at minimum uh, 30 minutes, unless you've got a really fast 3T scan or something. If you have a trauma brain, 15 minute protocol, but you're still going to, you know, all these scenarios, you've got to, you've got to get the patient, change them, uh, examine them, do the paperwork, walk them back out. I'm going to say the most interaction with patients is going to be your higher end modalities, your PET scan, nuclear medicine scan, maybe MRI. You know, MRI tech will do maybe 12 to 15 exams a day where I've seen busy ultrasound departments cranking out 18 to 20 per shift per person. Uh, and that's pretty high end. And then, uh, you know, x-ray, I've seen x-ray techs crank out 55 exams in a nine hour day. So I hope that answers your questions. If you have any more, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, if you're watching this video and it's been helpful, please subscribe and hit the like button and we'll see you at the next question.